Hey, oh, Production Hub. This is Mike DeRoche from Sony Electronics. Uh, we couldn't meet at NAB. What can we say? You know, we're all trying to get through this right now, but here's what we can do is we can pass on some information. So I'd like to actually walk you guys through our new 2 3rd inch 4K 60p camera that we came out with in January, but really would have showcased at NAB, that being the Z750. The Z750 takes a nod, if you will, on a camera sensor from our studio line, the HDC 3500 and 5500 cameras. It's basically that engine inside of a great ENG camera that's equipped with three chip, CC, or sorry, three chip CMOS, 4K 60p as I mentioned, but with a global shutter. Now, very similar to the predecessor, the Z450, a different imager, but single sensor in 4K 60p. This is a three chip CMOS sensor, again with global shutter. Now, what makes it different is things like well, it's a new image sensor, first of all, right? Just like the 3500, 5500, as I mentioned, but we have a perfect picture match with those cameras as well. So if you're using this camera to intercut with them in a stadium arena standpoint, or just in a truck camera environment, um, whatever the case may be, perfect intercut match. Um, global shutter, as I mentioned, so no flash banding, no jello cam, none of those issues. So the same capability, the frame image scan that you had in the F55, same thing comes along within the Z750, which is, again, same as the 3500 and 5500 cameras. High frame rate comes with this in high definition, up to 120 frames progressively. So if you do need off speed and high frame rate up to 120 in HD, this can give that to you in the same camera. Speaking of in the same camera, you have the ability to record not only 4K, but also HD on the same card at the same time, taking a cue from the F55 and that very popular workflow to have a built-in offline at 50 megabit, that XD cam codec, as your HD offline to your 4K recording. And therefore, your offline is actually distribution level quality. Not bad. Uh, what else do we have? Brand new in incorporation of this is taking on those additional high data rate codecs that we have in some of the other cameras. That's also incorporated in the Z750. So you can actually get in XAVC long op a 200 megabit file format encoded. It's kind of optimized for HDR live. HDR, oh yeah, that's something else that this offers. So the ability to record offerings in HDR in either HLG or S-Log3, right? So HDR is part of the deal here. And oh, by the way, the gamuts supported in this camera are identical to the FS7, FX9, and Venice. And therefore, if you were to incorporate this camera into a production pipeline intercutting with those other cameras, your HDR and color gamuts will all match, right? So the S gamut 3, uh, dot cine and the S-Log3, all that stuff follows in line with those cameras. Now, some other additions that you have with the Z750. VPID, do you not know what that is? Many don't, stands for Video Payload Identification. What that is is effectively a flag coming from the camera. When it's in HDR mode, it's sending the information over the supplied 12 gig interface over SDI, so one cable, taking all that 4K information and HDR plus this VPID information to the monitor, and therefore the monitor actually detects that information, which is such as the EOTF, your RGB space, your other elements that are coming along with that, and it flags it and provides that information and displays it properly, basically avoiding any human error or risking human error, okay? So looking at some of the other capabilities that we have, um, let's see. Uh, a very rugged sensor, right? Now, this may not sound like a big deal, but since it is actually a 2 3rd inch uh, camera, you actually have all those 2 3rd inch lenses, and the mounts here is very rugged. I think I said rugged sensor, but a uh, rugged sensor too, but it's a rugged 2 3rd inch B4 mount. What that means is you can basically put a 46 and 45 by lens from uh, Fujinon and Canon respectively, all the way down to the 15, 14, 13 by on the wides, all of those can be mounted to the camera body by itself without any rods. Very rugged and very helpful. Um, other things that we have relative to this camera, um, as I mentioned, high bit rates, an ergonomics, I.O., let's see, what else? Ah, another thing we introduced not long ago was the idea of a faster media. So this being an S by S native camera, S by S Pro X is the new media in conjunction with the SBAC T40 
card reader, which is Thunderbolt only, but you're actually able to realize a three times faster transfer than you would with the SBAC US 30, which is the USB 3.0 uh, reader. What that means is if you have 90 minutes of 600 megabit content, which is 4K 60p, 90 minutes, that's gonna transfer over in 3.5 minutes. So it is a lightning fast transfer, and that's only achieved if you're using the S by S Pro X media in conjunction with the T40 reader, SBAC T40, which is Thunderbolt only. But that is a huge delineation and a way to quickly get into post or if you need to move your files around, but it's a way to get that stuff off the card, get back out in the field, uh, however you wanna do it. Another thing that's supported within the system is wireless streaming and the ability to transfer stuff up to a cloud service, something that we have, Sony has something called C, but you have the ability to physically connect your cameras and your start stops are natively recorded frame accurately with the file naming convention going up as proxies to either an offboard recorder in an SD card or those files going up to the cloud if you have LTE, uh, Ethernet, or even a Wi-Fi connection maintained inside the camera and you can actually add that information to the camera and it knows exactly where it needs to go into some of the Sony cloud services. So we're now taking things to that really next level, but the Z750 is the next way to get there. If you're on board with this, or if you understand having worked with the F800 in the past, and you love how rugged that camera is and how much it's been leaned on, the Z450 was the next step. This is that next step for you. Now, I'm really excited to add this last point. Um, following up on the power and the, the leaning on that we did on Doug Jensen and the industry as a whole, Vortex Media's Doug Jensen, who wrote those F800 field guides, we're actually working with him again. He's gonna produce a, a 300 page field guide that's gonna cover the Z450 and the Z750, and that's scheduled to come out probably in about July. So look for that, all right? Listen, thank you for your time, I appreciate it. It's always nice to see everybody. Unfortunately, we couldn't see everybody at NAB, but stay safe, stay sound, and for more information on Sony professional products or this Z750 camera specifically, go to pro.sony.com. Thank you for your time, be safe.